This is a quick lesson in using FTP or File Transfer Protocol to get your files from your computer up to the internet to your web hosting provider. Um, it is possible to go into your cPanel that gives you access to where your site is hosted. Um, however, that has to be done one step at a time. Using FTP allows you to transfer many files quickly at one time. So the recommended, a recommended choice for doing FTP is a free program that is called FileZilla. So you can find it at filezilla.sourceforge.net and just go over here to your download and you need to scroll down just a bit and you can find the most recent version that can be downloaded okay so then we're going to scroll down one more time and we're going to choose the setup.exe So you're going to go ahead and save that file to your computer. Uh, usually it's best just to save it to your desktop so that you can find the icon quickly. And uh, go ahead and set up the program. So once you open it up, it will look like this. And what is on the left side here is everything that is actually on your computer. These are your computer files. So when you open it up, it'll have your C file, your D file, uh, so forth, and then all the directories underneath. Uh, the way you set up the access to your hosting is just like the access that your host gave you for getting into your C panel. So you're going to set up a new site. In this case, it will be read about it. Uh, dot info, you can call it whatever you want to. Um, I probably won't have a dot com, so we'll leave it like that. And then go over to your host, and you can just start, write in the domain name again. Read about it, and this time it's your dot com, dot info, your full domain name. You're going to leave everything the same there. And we need normal, because you need to put in your username. Admin, and whatever your password was and just go ahead and hit connect. And you will see now on the right side is everything that is on your hosting for that domain. So your files all belong in your public HTML folder, which at this point you can see is empty. CGI bin is set up automatically. Um, so just a quick lesson on how to upload some things. Um, let's for instance grab a header graphic just for a minute. You can double click on a file or you can drag and drop a folder or files. So breed header, for instance, we can just take this and drop it where it belongs. Down here you'll see the file that is transferring and the status of it. And when it's all gone, everything is uploaded and you'll see here, let's see successful. Uh, you can also delete here. You can change your file attributes. Um, Sometimes you'll need to change the access to your files in order to make changes to them in WordPress. Uh, so when you do this, you will need to change this to 666. Now that gives access to other people possibly, so it can be a security risk. So when you change your file attributes in order to make changes to files um, online, you'll want to change it back when you're done. again successful. Over here in your computer files you can change it just like you would in your Windows Explorer. Uh, you can create directories, uh, you can delete things and so forth. Again over here this is your hosting side. I can delete a file, rename it, create directories. Okay, so that's just a quick run through on using FTP to upload your files from your computer to your 
hosting account for the domain.